my name is Brenda Jean Power Medicine Woman, and I'm from Medicine Woman Solution. Yes, there's a solution to every problem. I seem to be having a problem myself. So what does that mean for a medicine woman? Can you heal yourself? Can you ask the right questions? Can you, you know, can you? Well, the answer is yes, you can. It's just you have to um, <laughs> hopefully get into some frame of mind that can allow you to tap into your spiritual self. What do I mean by that? Well, it's like this. Um, I found out more information that's happening with me. And it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of like a mystery, but in my spine, the left side had, because three years ago I had fallen. And when I fell, I fell face first, jammed this, broke these, and it was this side. My whole arm, everything was messed up. The vibration had gone through here, but it didn't, it stuck here and it got stuck in the third and fourth finger. Now, if you understand meridians are aligned here, the energy cleared through the small intestine and the heart, and then it cleared through the triple warmer. So that leaves the pericardium and the large intestine and the lung, okay? At which goes up. So the the lung goes from you go start here, it comes up through the shoulder and down and off. So you, you go um, lung to thumb is what I call it. And then the large intestine goes up and around, up through the shoulder and into the face. The pericardium goes from nip to tip. Now traumas Physical traumas will leave a mark in some form. I've worked really hard, but I didn't work on certain aspects. Now, just so you can understand, have you ever had like a, uh, a toenail or a fingernail that just didn't grow back correctly? Toenails usually will show you the bony spur aspect syndrome where the bone is always growing. So my big toe, I... Um, a, a big gate had fallen onto my big toe, which caused it to uh, quite a bit of damage and made my toenail come off. Well, if you could keep your toenail on, your toenail will start to grow back naturally. But if it comes off and you lose it, it starts to come back in a very bony uh, process. It, um, it gets thick, it gets gnarly, it gets disgusting. It doesn't know how to grow back correctly. So one time I'm uh, in the back of the car and I was trying to get out. And if you know how, uh, how getting in and out of the back of a car can be, my toe, because I was wearing sandals, my toe got caught on the back of the thing and it ripped the toenail right off. I was like, you know, I'm not one for... Um, oh my God, it's all about me. I just sit there and they're mad because they want to go for a walk. I said, I'll be with you in just a moment. I didn't tell them. I'm just trying to take, I found a, um, a, a, a plastic bag. So I took and I tied up my toe, you know, like how you would with, with your <laughs> toothache. I took my toe and I tied it up and I put a, a, a thing there so it would stop the bleeding. And, and then they're looking at me like, well, what are you being fashionable? I says, no, I says, I, I just ripped my toenail off. I says, I just was trying to stop the bleeding so we can go for a walk. And so when I realized that there next to your big toe is one side of spleen and the other side is, is liver. So I started to work just on the points. My toenail started to grow back almost more natural. Now I forgot to tap every day. And so it looks better than it did the first time. So it's about tapping on these meridian points. You're made of energy. So I didn't do that when I fell because I didn't think about it. I was too busy worried about my hand <laughs> and my face and my jaw, um, which did a lot of damage. Um, but so here's the thing. I can't, I, I, it, it affects the tear ducts, or not tear ducts, it's the, um, my eye is more dry, so I have to repair these uh, meridians. This is what I need to do. Um, I've worked real hard. 
I can almost close it completely, not quite. These are broke up, broke, but they weren't set back in place. Okay. So what does this all mean? Well, they said, oh, well, what, what trauma did you happen to you? With meaning almost two weeks now. What is two weeks? And I said, nothing. <laughs> I was just, I don't know what my instructor is saying. Not to me. Okay. Um, I don't know what, what happened because all I was doing was correcting my spine. So I do not strenuous stuff. Okay. So yes, I lift weights, but I'm lifting them only to build the frame of my body and they're very light weights. So it's intentional framing of my legs, my hips, my uh, this sides and my muscles here. So it's not anything dramatic. And then I do 2K walk every day. Well, the other thing I started to add was floor stretches. Stretches I always did, but this was intentionally to balance my frame. Okay. So my upper body will talk to my lower body. So now today, I'm going to still do it, but today my arm, my, it's almost level. So I was doing a so if you look, this is a little lower than this one. Well, um, when I was talking to my uh, client yesterday, I mean, it was like, like this. And I thought, oh my God, my frame. So I had to do my exercises last night to rebalance it. Now, scoliosis does not help. And that's one reason why it's very important to address your frame. Long story short, in my neck, there's no, I don't, there was no trauma. I was just stretching. <laughs> um, I Maybe this was stretching caused it. I have no idea. All I know is that you'd swear to God, I had a massive trauma. The swelling that's in the back of my neck, but only on the left side. Now the swelling inside there pushes on the nerve, which pushes on the gnarly bone, bone spur where the bone did not grow back properly. So that bone does not look like the other bones where they're smooth. This has like a bony nature to it. And so all this is supposedly pinching this nerve on the left side. There's no problem here. I have nothing. I have all the issue on my right side and it goes into the neck, down to the shoulder and then comes out all the way down. And when it started, I thought, oh my God, I feel like what I did three years ago with my whole right side of me. I mean, because my hand wanted to go into the cast position, my whole body wanted to be, and I'm like, what? now? The swelling is not going down. So yesterday I went back to the doctors again. <laughs> I, I, I hope she still loves me. Um, <laughs> yesterday I was in there three times. <laughs> um, but they've upped the ability to bring down the swelling. And because I said, what's the main goal? She says to bring down the swelling. I said, okay. And then I had talked to the pharmacist. Well, the pharmacist talked with me and she says, well, you can go, you, you, with all the medicines, you can go up to this one to be higher, which is to remove the swelling. And so, of course, march my butt back in there. Um, and lo and behold, she said, yes. So now I can take uh, something for my swelling to come it down. So that's the first thing we want to do is bring the swelling down. You guys have been beautiful and lovely. Um, we've had uh, beautiful suggestions. You've been reaching out to me. I, I appreciate all the love, all of the suggestions, because any and all things can be a clue that I haven't seen yet. So thank you. Okay. Um, oils, I've got them. I'm using them. I have the rest there in the bedroom. So um, for, you know, the, 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 you know, lemon, lemongrass, lemon, stuff like that and other little other things. So yes, um, I had my husband put some stuff on my arm just recent um, and my neck. But so I'm, we're going to do something a little different. You know, when you are um, a prisoner of your own body, 
and you don't understand what's happening, there are several things. So there's endless ways to be sick, dis-ease, um, something going on in the body. So this isn't a dis-ease. This is a, my body is no longer at ease, but it's trying to tell me something. So med you can always find a metaphysical thing. So in medicine and solution, what is the third option? So we're going to talk to my swelling. Now, consciousness isn't everything and all things. And it's, it's not just, you know, here's my consciousness and everything is just me here. No, everything has its own, um, helps you have a story, helps create your life, helps do this. So we're going to look. Yeah. So I'm going to connect in. And, you know, I don't have classes where you step one, step two. So it, I'm thinking if you all want to do a particular class with me, we can then, that will help me bring out the steps for further classes. I did it with my pilot class. Um, that is to wake up and that is a continuous forever ongoing thing. But these are about very specific. We're going to learn about connecting. And another class will be about pendulums. Another class will be about muscle testing, but there is no set format. I can't give you um, like it's going to be six weeks and there's going to be this and that. I may be able to do it in two days. I mean, some, some of these I don't need to stretch out. Some of them you do. Some of them you have to have a teaching course, meaning um, clinicals where you need to show up to show me if you're getting it. So I'm thinking what I'll do is that I will present the course, but what it will be, it is a be you pay for that course that day. We go through it online, okay? Then if you wanna come back the next day, you can, but you're not, you can't have it unless you pay for it, okay? So if you decide you just want one course and don't want any more, fine. You decide you want the whole, whole shebang, then you pay for each one. If you have no money for the second course, the second class of that first course, but you can have it a week later, it can be available to you. So you can go at that pace. You just wouldn't be able to catch up with class, but anything and all things possible about how it can be. But once we go through these particular things, then I can sit down and with my team and write a format. Then it can be presented to people offline. Now, I just don't like to say here, let's physically and do this. But this stuff comes through and it needs to be experimented and use the light language so is so important to grasp. Okay, enough of that. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna ask the swelling. We're gonna just talk to the swelling part. Okay. We're going to, the intention is important. The wording is important. The thought process to which you are holding is important. So I'm going to ask this part of my swelling, why is it there? Now I'm going to talk to the soul first and say, okay, so this happened for a reason. Yes. Can I, am I allowed to know the reason? Yes. Not a hundred percent because they're using the scale. So that means it's unfolding. The story of this is unfolding because yesterday was, not only did it benefit me, but it benefited actually, I could see several other people. So there's more than just one part moving. The fractal, I'm like in the middle of the fractal watching it happen. So he said, what I can help you to know is that what did you do towards yourself? What broadcast message did I say to myself? Now, for you to understand, this is what I would teach the academy. Just don't take these words for granted, okay? But the, the but what is towards self? This is self. That means whatever I would be doing out there, I can't do it out there. I turned it towards myself. Now, what instructions? What am I doing? Am I watching my every move? Am I instructing? Am I, you know, am I being the authority against my own self? 
This is where self-sabotage can come from. This is where prosti you know, prostituting yourself in the sense of selling yourself out and giving away your power. Don't think the other. Okay, you have the victim stance. This is a condition uh, to what we're told that we have to usually go into when we lose power. But what if we took that power, turned it towards ourselves, and started yelling at ourselves? You understand? Okay, so they're saying there's something that I that, that happened in this life. Yes, is it based on past life? Always. Is it in a genetic aspect? Yes, in this case, it is an epigenetic thing that, that has been, uh, the, you know, my family line has been working on, okay? So as I'm looking, now I'm gonna ask, okay, and what, from the time of, of uh, conception, so what this timeline here, what is it? When When is this, okay? So when did I do a towards self? Uh, and they're saying, Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which means how many towards selves do I have? I have four towards myself and two of them, I have everything to do with what's called the infliction that's happening in, in me right now. Yes. So they're going to address the first one. The first one has to do with the energy that is on the inside of me. And there is this energy because I do towards self lowers the vibration. Okay, now even if I can have high spirits, this particular part of my body, the frequency has changed. So this is where you have to understand you are a musical notes. And these frequencies, when they work on a bell curve, you have a happy, joyful life. If you are learning a particular lesson, one of the musical notes will change, if not more and it'll be too high, too low. And they're based on learning, like, like for instance, on the physical scale, just so you can have a visual. <clears throat> if it is C and D, okay, and B, this is a physical aspect. So I have to learn how to physically take care of myself. This is more of the first chakra. It deals with the second when it comes to the relationship with people, the third, have a relationship to myself. And then if I had, didn't, if let's say those are fine, like this dude's, his is fine. Hers is not. So she's got to work on it. So even she doesn't have it, she's going to call in people to be more dominant than she is. So here is this, um, the men, the, um, emotional aspects. Now, this is where a lot of people have either nothing <laughs> or too much of, okay? And then the mental aspect isn't about intelligence. It's about how you can capacity of you think. A lot of you just go right into high beta, run to the end of your timeline. You run with scissors, you predict the outcome. And so a lot of you will be messed up right here. Okay, so when those musical notes drop, so in this case, they're saying we're going to take the first aspect of how I said something to myself, it changed the frequency, it dropped the vibration. Now, understand the vibrate. Oh, I don't have that scale. 500 is love, anything below 500 is more of a negative aspect where it'll rob you of your personal life force, which then will be dedicated to whatever the experiences you have in life. Got it? Which means that this life force is not taking care of your physical body. You're going into spiritual debt, which means you are constantly repeating something that you do not need to do anymore. So it no longer serves, but yet it served at the time, whether it's past life, genetic, but it's served. So now I can say in this timeline, when did it occur? Four years old. And it says the oscillation, the isolation of the environment. So the energy outside me, okay? The energy outside me affected me. Yes. Did I go into avoidance? Then I went into being taking on timidness. 
So at four years old, I wanted to avoid something. And if I asked, what, what is it? And they says, oh, this is where it really affected the frequency. Now, did I just want to avoid other people's? No. It says how all of a sudden, because I had engaged with the environment, it changed my frequency. So my frequency was good. And then as soon as I had to engage, it went down. Okay, so here, here, here's the story. They're saying that the outside was very erratic. Somebody always had an issue. Some, somebody was in a drama. Somebody was in a trauma. Somebody always had to fight. So, you know, uh, emotional upsets. You know, I lived in a trailer at four years old with, that had like one, two, three bedrooms and you had one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, seven people that lived in that house. Then you had friends that come over, which made it worse. Then you had dogs and cats and rabbits, which made it worse. So I have to, and this is what I know as an adult, I like space. I like to be isolated. I'm not quite an introvert, but by God, I have a king size bed. I love my husband. I love my husband, but stay on your side of the bed. While I sleep, do not touch me. If I'm awake, that's fine. But if I'm sleeping, keep your distance. So I have a king ass bed, not just so I can stretch, but because I can have my space. Now, growing up, I had to sleep with my parents. My mother would tell me horror stories how she would tuck the end in of the bed. I would have to sleep in the middle between my parents. Now, do you understand how hot it gets between bodies? And, you know, they put those freaking jumpers on you. And, well, my mother would always tell me how mad she would get because I would get out and kick my feet, be on top of the bed. And, you know, I have problems with heat. As an adult, I have problems with heat. This is related to not the fact that my thermostat and any of that, it is a, an experience that affects me. So that means as soon as the temperature rises, my body goes into a memory. Okay, um, so that all can be healed. This just takes time. But my mother was so scared to death because one day she went to look for me. I was gone. I was at the bottom stuck. And I've had nightmares where I'm suffocated to death. I didn't quite die. But my mother would tell me she would be so scared. She'd reach down, yank me up, and I would be all this red. Now I had problems with red color for ages. Now I don't have a problem with it because I've healed a lot out. But it's experiences in life that affect us if they are, you know, if they, we find and deem it important. Something even minor can be very important to that child. So let's go a little further. So the erratic energies did what? So what's going on? action becomes an engram my action their actions so the environment dictates to me how i need to behave whether it is directed to me it can be very erratic between everybody now i'm going to tell you i i will I, the clue that i've got i have always watched people bitch i'm the spectator i'd watch my mother and sister i had a best friend loved her dearly went into her house and it's like, I swear to God, they wait for me to get there to be the drama show. I'd be stuck in the, in the corner of the house because there's no way to get to the door. And I ain't running through that trauma. I mean, it would get violent and I would just sit there and it'd usually be two, two or three hours. And by the time I go home, I'm more traumatized. Then I have to turn and watch my mother and my sister. I like space. Okay. I love you. Go home. <laughs> but so far, you're understanding what I'm talking about. You can't just say, oh, this is life, and then you do it. Your body is constantly holding those patterns. Why? Because you have 41 thoughts per minute. 41 thoughts per minute. And if you're in high beta, you could have a hell of a lot more. You should think faster. But if you are constantly, how often have you got pissed off at somebody? 
Oh, God damn it, Amy, you just pissed me off. Hmm. I can't stop thinking about it. Mm, geez, I can pick, you know, mm, cooking supper. You know. And so then all of a sudden I realized an hour's gone by. Mm, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to, mm, mm, mm. you know, you want your power back. You just, mm, mm. So then all of a sudden it's like midnight. And so now you've gone, let's say eight hours. And and that's you know, one hell of a uh, long mood swing here. You know? And then you know, all of a sudden the next day, and then you're like, I, I'm, I, 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 I got it. I'm, you know, now we got texting. Um, what does that mean? You, you, your body begins to memorize because inside you have the ability to forget if you wanted to. How many of you remembered what you had for breakfast last Tuesday? Okay. How many of you know, remember, you know, what you just read in the newspaper four days ago that was stupid? Well, we don't have newspapers anymore, but whatever online whatever meme of the flavor. But here's the thing. We have what's called glial cells. Now, if you imagine your, your thought processing, your brain is like trees, you know, with the little roots, trees with little blooms. And the more you think about it, the more bloomage, the more leaves, the more branches, beautiful tree. But if you don't think about it, that 41 thoughts per minute and you, you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And you have no emotion, which is water and sunlight and all this to feed the tree, then the tree leaves and stuff will fall off and the, 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 it won't form a connection. What fires and wires together in this case won't do it. And then all of a sudden these glial cells are like little vacuums can cleans up the mess. And you forget it wasn't important. Now there are some things that you have great memories. Okay. It's called, it's, it's the way our brain uh, records everything. So I may be looking into the camera. Let's say I'm focusing on the fact that I have read, but my body, my ability with my eyes have recorded everything, including that bird over there, um, this uh, medicine thing, uh, the, probably the dirt speck on the floor as well. If you, yeah, some point on my dirt. Um, I'm airing my dirty laundry. <laughs> no, sorry, I don't have laundry. <laughs> but the point is, it's, I record all these things. But are any of these little things very important? No, unless you have a trauma or a drama. So if you're going through a traumatic experience, all of this can be what's called, uh, if you're, if it's really drama, it, then it's going to be an engram, which means all this is going to equal what you just went through. Now they become triggers, okay? So you'll be walking through life and all of a sudden you'll see pink flowers. <laughs> oh, they're just so beautiful. I just don't know why I'm still crying over those damn pink flowers. Shouldn't they be beautiful? But if we were to check, it usually goes back to a particular thing. And it's your body's way of telling you, you're still losing power. It's not, because the good stuff, the good stuff is great. It feeds you. It, it's like a power cell, it'll feed you. But it's the negative stuff that we dwell on, which keeps our immune system and our nervous system reporting back that it has to pay the price to keep this experience. That's why we say to resolve, to evolve. Okay. Is this making any sense to anybody? I hope so. Making sense to me. Um, in the other friend of medicine woman, there's a question. She's, uh, she's new and she's wondering how you're getting your answers. Okay. Now that's a long process and that's where I'm going to have a class. So you all can understand this. When I started out, it was chaos, but just straight up, you have to get your, your ego out of the way. Number two, you have to start to know thyself, which means you have to get an authenticity. Now, there are people out there that are doing their best, that are getting good, they're doing it, they do it a completely different way, that's fine. But for me, I wanted to make sure that this is pure spirit. So I, I actually make sure that I am aligned with spirit. You can tell, if you watch other shows, you can tell when they've dropped me and I'm back to being just Brenda. Like I have no pain right now because they are 
the vibrational rate is a very high frequency and I am aligned to that frequency. Okay, that means that my second chakra, the gut reaction, is connected to my heart, which has to do with the heart brain, which has to do also with my higher self. And I'm getting it all from source, the source of spirit, the consciousness, the, the, the um, creator of all that is. Okay. It is a very, 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 very uh, high frequency. So that means I have to go through all the channels, which have lined up. Okay. And there's actually uh, like a map. You can see how you get through the channels. And the consciousness of love, the consciousness. See, there's a grid. You can go for another grid that it goes on and on. I have many levels until I get back to God or source, however you want to call it. If you look at esoteric um, teachings, they'll talk about how to do this formation. Um, you go to Theta Healing. She talks about that sort of formation. It is going to a higher plane to the creator that all that is. So the information that comes through is I have to create a file system. Look at my little hairs. See, this is what I'm trying to hide right here. <laughs> I had damage. And so I lost a lot of hair. <laughs> All right, get in there. Hide. Stay hidden. <laughs> um, oh, that was a trauma. Holy shit, that was a trauma. It was nothing big to me, but what if my body thought it was tra traumatic? I remember because the nervous system was that all of a sudden it was like, I, I, had a, I wanted to throw up. I had a, okay, I'll tell you that's maybe. Let me finish the question for her. You have to get ego out of the way. You can't be emotional. You have to be a vessel. You have to be one with the creator that all it is. Like Amy will just say, this is up. I don't have to do anything. I just trust. And by God, those people will come back and say, oh my God, how'd you do it? It's not me. I don't sit there. When information comes through and it comes through my file system, I don't sit there and go, oh, I had a bad experience with my, my, my in-laws. Do you have the same issue? No. To put the shoe on the other foot, the feeling nature is, and the only example I can give you is when I had gone through the situation. Do you have similar feelings? Is there something similar going on to your, your life? And you, so you have to let, you, ha, you can interpret, but you have to let the person connect to their life. It's their life. It's, they're the only ones that can download in their body. But if you're asleep, you can't understand what I'm saying because the soul offers this information at all times to you at all times. You just can't hear it. I can. I see energy cords. Your biology creates your biography. So I'm going back following and reading your history. If spirit says, follow this one, and once I get there, it may then open up a book where I can see you physically I can see the shockers if I ask. I can move those aside and look at, the best way to say that I can see it is if you ever watched the Avengers or Iron Man and when he pulls up the diagrams. So when the diagram comes up of you, there's your soul aspect communicating with me or your younger selves will come to me if your four-year-old self will come running to me because the timelines, everything's happening all at once. So your future self will come to me, your alive self. You don't even have to be, you know, so here's the thing. I will have people that will come to me that are not dead, but come to me to talk to you about you. I can't explain it. All I can tell you is that it happens. I've got the, the loved ones, the non-fleshies, the dead. Sorry, I know you're not dead. We, we've talked about that. The non-fleshies 
they live just like you, just in a vibration of a different rate and a frequency much higher than you at a different dimensional level of plane or plane of dimension. <laughs> Don't laugh. I got it wrong. Right. Sort of. Hmm. But you have to have the ability to to be able to read light language, interpret it. You, your body has to hold the frequency that is much higher than you. And this is why it's like I'm just a physical being. And I, my body can be in a disarray and they're teaching me they can still communicate with me because it isn't the body. It is the re reptilian part of your brain. It is that ancient part of your brain that holds, God, stop, I, don't turn your head, Brenda. Um, <laughs> when you want to start to channel, you need to be able to operate and open up that part of your back part of your brain so that they can look through your eyes if you're going to do that. Now, I said I do not want you to come in and take over. But I will communicate and do my what I came here to do, but it has to be a little bit on my terms. And that's probably where the issue is, because it's on my terms. It's like I won't give my body fully because I remember years ago when I wanted to I was in a class and we we're learning to let the mean communication and the vo vocals in me was good God, for a good six months, all I could do was as soon as I would walk into a frequency, I would be talking like this, or I'd be over here going, I'm a Southern, pro. I was a, yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, no. I was having a conversation with somebody that's not spiritual, and all of a sudden, I started to operate through the fifth, fifth chakra. Why do you think I wear these? And I had a whole different frequency, and somebody looks at me and go, what? because they, my voice didn't match me. I just opened up the way for them to communicate was through the, the vocal cord aspect. And it's like, no, I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. And so that's probably why, because I closed it down. <laughs> See, there all has a good reason to why we're having the show today. So, mm -hmm. Short story, or to shorten it completely, I just connect to spirit. I connect to the the, the, the creator of all that is. And she um, was wondering about how you your uh, protocol sheet. She she asked if they were for sale. And not yet, you know. not yet. This is just a small one. You should see the volumes I have on the shelf. Because um, <laughs> if you're gonna do what I do, you need to create a files in here the only way to do that is to have a visual aspect of different information but it depends on where you're going if you're going to work on the physical physical then that means i want to supply oils and herbs and whatever then you need to have a whole selection of that if you're going to do it more on the energetic level like i have reiki amadeus reiki ascension i have a Kroda Kai, I have um, Mary, I have, there's like 20 or 30 modalities I have that are just energy work and, and reconnection is, was the last one. And I said, that's it. I don't need any more. Because they all are saying the same thing. Different symbols. You don't need it. You can use the touch for health. You can use the innate ability you already have inside you. The, the, the protocol sheets, if you were going to get this main one that I use, you'd have to use introductory level before you can get to the big mother. Because the big mother is complicated at best. But it's not complicated. I mean, I remember making up one and they go, it's too complicated. I'm like, there's like, excuse me, there's hard, there was hardly anything on it. And, but it's a way it's arranged and it's a way that you're comfortable with the pendulum or comfortable with being able to read it because if you are interpreting it without having education you're going to miss all the light language bits that's all i gotta say okay i hope i answered that i answered it for me <laughs> well anyways anyways we'll get on to with the story because i only have a a four o'clock today, so we can go as long as I physically can. Okay. Now, 
And we have two pay it forward. So stick around. We will play the number game. Yes. Later. Two pay it forwards. That means you have a chance to get um, eight minutes. Is it eight minutes? <laughs> yeah, eight minutes uh, free. Two. We had Pilly was wonderfully donated money at that price and said, hey, I want to give and see. And so she gets a, something out of it. I get something out of it. You get something out of it. And if you're listening, you get something out of it. So it's not just what you know what I forgot to do with my good guide. You're going to have to be help be my brain. We didn't say thank you to Pilly out on my fan page. I knew, even though you told me my, my, well, as soon as they disconnect me, it's a whole other whole land, different land. Okay. <laughs> I suppose I can, um, they, they've actually stopped me. Um, cause I could tell you a whole bunch more, but no, it's going on 50 minutes and they said, we know how you love to help people. So we're shutting up. I'm like, oh, don't go away. I've been waiting. I've been waiting two weeks for you to give me. <laughs> they said, they'll be back. <sighs> All right. Duty calls. So what I got to find my number. I had, I've got to find my number today. Uh, see what it is. Everything's running mega slow. You need the link. Ah, no, that's not for you. Okay, I thought I had a client, but or I mean, no, that's my client. So we're gonna find my number, and it's eight two three. So we need to find the eight two three number. I might have actually had it up there, and I took it down because I thought it was the other one. No, that's eight eight two. That's not it. There it is. You have an opportunity to come online if you choose so. If you decide you want to stay, all you have to do for the drawing for 30 minutes, you get a, we have been collecting names. If you share publicly, so I can get your name put in the drawing. If you decide to love the show, then I go through and I pick out all the names and I put them in, um, I, I, it's a whole count thing. So eventually you get a number to put into the drawing. So <clears throat> just so you know, there's a 30 minute free session with me private offline. And the only way you can do it is, is to hit the love button and share publicly. And then your name goes into a drawing. Okay. Um, the last person, they loved it. I just, I, I, I need to actually get some, uh, for those that, okay. So if, if you want to do it, you have to be able to give me a feedback and write me a little thing so I, or a video so that I can put up, you know, so that people can see that that 30 minute free session was worth the time and effort. Let's go a little further. We have a 15 minute drawing that you can have, but it has to be online that you can win free 15 minutes with me. But the only way to do that is if you pay to buy a session. So Pilly has paid for three and that means her name goes in three times. Uh -huh. Okay. But it benefits. I mean, that's donation. You can pay for it and pay for it for yourself. Your name will go into the drawing. Let's go a little bit further. And we have uh, not just the one minutes, because sometimes they can linger if I have deep things that I have to talk about. Um, but if you're a newbie, you get an extra minute. But if you brought a friend, you, my love, are going to get your name in a box you get an eight minute if your name is drawn and the person that you brought in they stayed and they got a reading they not only get two minutes they get three minutes because you brought them in you understand so everybody gets this win-win win-win-win thing because spirit has a lot to say your loved ones has a lot to say when the loved ones come through good god they just want you to heal we're great. We're fine. Heal your shit so you don't have to do this again. I, I, I can't express enough of how all of a sudden they bombard me. And I'm like, shh, 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 shh. you're high in the line. One representative. That's all you get. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't whisper in my ear. So we're going to begin to do the one minutes. And 
everything. Did you just feel that the whole timeline just swooned down like I was? I want to talk slow mo. And I'm thinking, is it the drugs? No, because I had them a while ago. Yeah, it's yeah. totally different now. Even the color is different. All right, you planets, what are you doing today? <laughs> Okay, so let's get cracking on this, Phil. 